so, Winter Challenge turned out to be more of an endurance challenge for players. The lacklustre graphics, sound and game design all led to a rather flat experience. One year later, in 1993, the Summer Challenge was released, but would the sun shine on this edition of the game? As with the Winter Challenge, the box makes it clear that the game cartridge will work on both Sega Genesis and Mega Drive systems. The front cover is well illustrated, giving the look of the package plenty of energy. One minor change is the space given to the Accolade publisher credit. Although Accolade were responsible for the Winter Challenge, their branding had not been so prominent. The box gives the familiar promise of eight great events. The rear of the box looks promising too, with bright screenshots and the usual feature callouts. Inside the box is a raft of paperwork. There's a warranty registration card, the customer service booklet, the control card, and of course the rather hefty multilingual manual. The cartridge is set back into the cardboard inset and the overall packaging is good quality here. Upon starting the game, we're met with a very bland opening screen with minimal effort put in to either the graphics or the sound. It's not a great start, seeing as the console was capable of so much more. As with Winter Challenge, you have the chance to train or set up a new tournament. Setting up a tournament for multiple players is an easy process, and I can potentially see this working as a party game. It quickly becomes apparent that the opening ceremony graphics are reused directly from the Winter Challenge, just a few backdrop changes. I'll run you through each of the eight sports. The first event, Archery, is one of the strongest events. You have a set time to hit a target for as many points as you can with three arrows. The cursor will jump erratically, so releasing at the right time can be very tricky. Even if you have everything lined up, there's no saying that the game won't just move the cursor away at the last second. Despite its frustrations, I actually came to like this event. The Equestrian event is rather dull. Simply navigate your horse around the course, and hit a button at the right time to hit the jump. It's really as minimal as it gets. The kayaking event suffers from the same issues as the giant slalom event in the Winter Challenge, and is essentially just a reskin of the same event. As the depth of view is so limited, there's no real way to see where the next gate is. The graphics are choppy, and this event is no real fun to play at all. The 400 meter hurdles event has potential. Mash the buttons to gain speed and then the C button to jump. I was so fed up by this point though that I was more entertained by watching my athlete kick his shins in. The pole vault is a combination of button mashing and then pinpoint timing to lower the pole. It's a really tough event. The high jump mechanics are the same as the pole vault. Great timing is needed, so more often than not, you'll be giving your athlete a life of back problems to look forward to. The javelin is by far the best event. Mash the buttons for power, and then up on the d-pad to get the angle right. It's a decent test of skill. The last event is cycling, which is a carbon copy of the winter challenge, speed skating. Just mash the buttons and turn left occasionally. It's one of the laziest events in the game. So overall in terms of playability, the archery and the javelin events are the most playable. Most of the other events suffer from quite limited game mechanics. Should you want to add some a challenge to your collection, you're in for a bargain. It's what I'd class as one of those almost unsellable games on eBay. In each region, expect to have change from a £5 or $5 note. The issue is that there's no great history connected to the game, and also there were better games of this type around at the same time. Instead of Winter Challenge, why not try Ski or Die from 1990, an earlier release game that was already superior in graphics, sound and gameplay. Instead of Summer Challenge, why not try the superior Games Summer Edition, a 1988 release. Interestingly, both of these alternatives were early releases and also unofficial to the Olympic movement, yet they both seem to capture the fun and spectacle of sport. In many ways, the Winter and Summer Challenge games seem like a missed opportunity, as they failed to build upon the successes of previous sports games. As a set, the packaging for this pair does look neat and tidy on the shelf, and there was some fun to be had here. As a collector though, I'd advise that there's little to make you go out of your way to hunt down these titles. <laughs> Uh, that hurt. 
Hello again, I hope you enjoyed today's show and thank you for the view. Remember, you can always comment, like, subscribe and find us on the social media sites below. Happy collecting!